Hey y'all, Karen from the future here with a small announcement. I have started streaming on Twitch. If you are interested in learning a little bit more deep dive stuff about some of my roleplay opinions, or if you have questions for me, please join me on twitch.tv slash it's Karen Terry. Every Saturday Eastern time from noon to two. The keyword for Leo is passionate. Put Leo in the sun, moon, or ascendant position if you want your character to come off as cheerful, stubborn, or a born leader. Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk all about Leo characters. As always, if you didn't watch my first astrology video, I'm going to link it up in the card. That's going to give you all the information that you need to know in regard to making sure that you understand what we're talking about in today's video. And today we're going to go through Leo. So be sure to tell me all about your Leo characters down below. Leo is represented with the lion. It's part of the fire element and its quality is fixed. Fire signs are typically known for their strength and energy. And fixed signs are typically known for being calm because they come in the middle of a season. And Leo falls in the middle of summer. The sun is typically in Leo from July 23rd to August 22nd. Being the fixed fire sign, Leo is seen as both passionate and arrogant. Think of Leo as embodying the proud lion. They are natural born leaders. They are dramatic, creative, self-confident, dominant, and they can be really hard to resist. They are often surrounded by a pride of loyal friends and acquaintances. Leo's ruling planet is the sun. And remember, the sun represents what drives someone, their central instincts, and their core self. So Leos are incredibly in tune with their egos, and they are constantly on a quest for self-awareness. But this can also mean sometimes they forget the egos of others in their quest for personal growth and self-awareness. The keyword for Leo is passionate. Put Leo in the sun, moon, or ascendant position if you want your character to come off as cheerful, stubborn, or a born leader. So as we just said, what sign the sun is in at the time of someone's birth is their sense of self and what drives them, right? But any planet can have any placement in any sign. So let's break down some of those for Leo. And just like we've done in all of my other Zodiac videos, can you guys believe we're like halfway through these now? This is, this is literally the halfway point. But as you're used to, I'm going to be putting character examples that I think could be interpreted as having this placement so that you have a frame of reference for what we're talking about. Leo rising radiates a sort of social energy that means they can't help but be noticed. They often pay special attention to their appearance and can be incredibly image and body conscious. They can think that they're on a stage at all times, even when they're in private. Because they're so image conscious, they have a deep desire to oversee the image of everything going on around them, and that can even include their circle of friends. This means that they're often the de facto leader of their group, and they can tend to be a little bossy. Leo's natural enthusiasm can sometimes get them into trouble in these cases, where they'll sort of put things on a pedestal that aren't really as important as they seem because they're so focused on that image. Despite all of that, Leo rising make amazing leaders, especially if they can balance out some of those tendencies with a little bit of patience. The moon in Leo shows someone that while not outwardly being as outgoing as other Leo placements, when they feel comfortable, they do want to be the center of attention. They often feel the need to organize and control their emotional surroundings. This means while they aren't as bossy as other Leo placements, they're likely constantly getting involved in the emotional state of those around them. They are still concerned with how image might affect them. They're just concerned with it emotionally, so they'll still seek to control certain things like this. When the moon and Leo feel slighted, they tend to go for dramatic displays, but never in public. They are too concerned with their image. On the flip side, a well cared for moon in Leo is excellent at tapping into the emotional state of their surroundings and finding the fairest alternative for everyone involved. All right, next let's get into the personal planets. As always, same themes here. We're just applying them to the particular realm of that planet. Mercury in Leo colors someone's communication as passionate. When Mercury in Leo speaks, they always do so with authority. This placement is adept at seeing the big picture, too often the detriment of the little details involved. 
While others might try to win people over with logic or wit or guilt, Mercury in Leo does so with warmth and goodwill. They are excellent at promoting their ideas and getting their message across. Prideful Mercury in Leos are often very attached to the ideas that they communicate. Even when their beliefs are incredibly idealistic, they will fully believe that they can achieve those ideals. Particularly stubborn ones may even be inflexible in their ideals and reject solutions that don't live up to those standards. I have this placement, and now that I've said that, you're probably thinking, well, duh. Venus in Leo colors someone's love and desires as passionate. They love to court and be courted, and they need to feel special when it comes to their romantic endeavors. That means if someone's coming on to them, they're going to be sure to tell anyone who will listen, and that includes their current romantic partner. But it's ill-advised to brag like this in return. Their need to feel special means they can be a little bit territorial. While Venus in Leo requires a lot of attention, when that attention is paid, it's returned with a generous, warm-hearted, and loyal lover. Mars in Leo colors someone's ambitions as passionate. They have a strong desire to create, and what they create must leave a significant stamp on those around them and sometimes even the world at large. This placement possesses a strong will and desire, which means their ambitions have staying power. This means that they'll keep going even after their fire is burnt out. They have a true calling, they know what that true calling is, and they are idealistically devoted to achieving it. Jupiter and Leo attracts good fortune when they use their passion. They use their leadership skills to inspire confidence in others when they are dignified and sincere. They take great pride in everything that they do, and so long as they avoid the trappings of that ego in Leo, they can achieve great successes. Saturn in Leo shows a lot of Leo traits in what they fear. They may even feel disdain towards people who want that spotlight. Basically, they believe individuals aren't inherently special, and this can even be to their detriment when they feel the need to take the spotlight for their own accomplishments. They also have a big issue with others trying to control them. Saturn and Leo will often go their own way, even when stepping into a follower role would be beneficial for themselves and those around them. All right, and those are our personal planets. Next, let's move to our outer planets, and remember, those are more generational, less individual. Uranus in Leo is a time to turn the world to its ear. People born in this time are full of energy and strong will. Unique approaches to sex, parenting, and husbandry may come about during this time. This is a time for determination and rebellion, although Leo's impatience may mean that their cause is undermined by dramatics. Still, because it's Leo, it is impossible for the world to not listen. The last time Uranus was in Leo was from August 1955 to August 1962. Neptune in Leo dreams of passion. This is a time for envisioning things that previous generations might have thought impossible. They have a deep love for idealization and fantasy, and those leadership qualities in Leo means that everyone else is coming along for the ride. The last time Neptune was in Leo was from 1915 to 1929. Pluto in Leo signifies a time of focus on creating one's own destiny. Everyone born during this time feels that they have a chosen destiny to fulfill and wants to be treated as special and unique. This is a time of both intense will and dramatic expression. The last time Pluto was in Leo was from 1935 to 1956. So that's how all of the planets react in Leo. As usual, I barely touched on this. There is so much more to learn. So if you're interested in Leo for different placements, I recommend checking the description for links to all of my favorite astrology websites. So do any of you have Leo characters? Now that you've watched this video, are you thinking about making one? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.